More than 20,000 people in Rhode Island have Alzheimer's, and today an updated plan to address the disease was unveiled, aimed at helping those living with the disease. Eyewitness News reporter Anita Buffoni joins us now live in studio with the details that are new at 5.30. Anita. Mike, Lieutenant Governor Dan McKee was joined by the Alzheimer's Association of Rhode Island health advocates and lawmakers at the State House to detail the state's updated plan. It includes establishing a director level position within the Rhode Island Department of Health to coordinate the implementation of the plan, increase research for funding opportunities, and include brain health and publicly funded health programs in Rhode Island. The plan has support from members of the General Assembly who plan on introducing bills to back its implementation, including Representative Mia Ackerman. Before we're totally overwhelmed by this public health crisis in the making, now is the time to open up the dialogue on what needs to be done. Public policy needs to be carefully crafted, as Dan has done, to address the state's plan on dealing with Alzheimer's. Now the plan was crafted after the Lieutenant Governor's Office and Health Advocates held dozens of town hall meetings, interviews of experts, and surveyed hundreds of Rhode Islanders impacted by the disease to get feedback on ways to best serve those with Alzheimer's. I'm Anita Buffoni, Eyewitness News.